Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out two of the upcoming Walmart exclusive gold label figures, and I know when anyone says Walmart gold label exclusive, uh, the immediate reaction is, oh man, but... Lo and behold, we are going to be continuing on with their DC versus Vampires with Robin. Robin being, of course, gold label right there on the box. DC versus Vampires. I'm having fun with this line. It's wackadoo. It's out there. It's all repaints, but it's fun. So here's the barcode when Damian Wayne Robin starts to hit Walmart store shelves along with the new Owl Man. So this one is going to be a bit of a repaint from the previous Target exclusive Owl Man. It seems Walmart uh, wanted their own version of Owl Man from Forever Evil. Nice artwork on the back of the box. Not much in the box though, but here's the barcode for Owl Man. When these start to hit store shelves, and I imagine they will hit Walmart's soon after the holidays conclude. So probably well into January, but you never know these days, right? But in either case, this is gonna be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at two brand new upcoming Walmart DC Multiverse gold label exclusives, Owl Man and Vampire Robin. And while I got all you little ankle biters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse vids. And if you haven't already, well, please do consider subscribing. Why? Because we got old toys, we got new toys, we have daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like, like Owlman and Vampire Robins. But speaking of Owlman, so here is the figure, all out of the box. Nothing in the box, unfortunately. No owl rings, no bombs. No extra hands, nothing. But there is an interesting, cool figure. One that, if you miss the first Owlman, this one's not a bad substitute at all. There's minimal everything kind of going on. It's a reuse of the sculpt. It does have a nice cape. I like how they've kind of changed the capes a little bit. It's a very light, rubbery cape instead of a very thick, heavy cape. Totally dig that, it's a lot more malleable. You're gonna get some minimal head articulation because of Owlman's just ridiculous helmet, right? Not looking up anytime soon. You can look down and do brooding Owlman. He's got the same type of articulation. The big ol' owl shoulder pads will kinda sorta hinder you when you wanna get the arms all the way up. He's got the bicep, he's got the double jointed elbows, and of course, he has the wrists. And like I said, no swap out hands. Nothing like that. He does have a fairly decent ab crunch. He will spin, of course, and he will spin at the waist. And I like the belt as well. Different belts, different head sculpt, different colors. Leg kicks out. Actually, fair amount of range on the legs, which is nice to see. Double jointed knees. And then, of course, he has some owl boot rotation and then the owl toes. Peg holes on both bottoms of the feet. He's interesting, he's cool. He's just not that exciting. However, if you have the other crime syndicate figures and you are missing Owlman, I will show you in just a few. He does look really good with them, but if you, again, already have the previous Owlman, there's not much new here. However, on the flip side of things, with the DC versus Vampires, Robin, he comes with a bunch of extra hands. And this is always a welcome sight. Although I will say, they're kind of overdoing it with the finger pointing hands at this point, right? They're always the same hands. And it still has gun holding hands with fisted hands. Enough of the gun holding hands. We are well past giving DC Multiverse trigger finger hands, right? Now he does come with a stake slash ice pick, right? It's kind of a, a bit of a reuse. Now it's dumb, but it's also a good accessory for a vampire or using against a vampire. And someone like Vampire Robin, Damian Wayne, sure, he'd have that along with a sword. So if you want your vampire to have a sword, he comes with plenty of hands. They're all trigger finger though, to hold said sword and it does look good. Now with the actual figure, all of the DC versus Vampire Walmart exclusives are just reused, repurposed figures to give them that vampire motif. This one though, it's very minimally painted and very minimally vampire, unfortunately, especially after 
that really killer Green Lantern, right? That was just the best of the bunch. Joker, Batman, you name it. He has his head portrait with the fangs. It's nicely painted, although he's kind of got like a derpy smile, right? Half the lip is going up on one side. It does give him some interesting vampire character, but it just doesn't look the best, we'll just say. Cool hair, cool costume. Again, the paint definitely could have been better along the yellow when it hits the black. And also, with all the other prior release DC vs. Vampires, they're usually covered in blood. And this one doesn't have it. And that's kind of boring, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, well, why are you taking that away? That's part of the fun of DC vampires, right? To go crazy, as you'll soon see, when you put him in your DC vs. Vampires collection, he kind of stands out now, but in a negative way, right? You're like, oh, is he a vampire? I guess. So he doesn't have that grit that the other figures have. Now, with the articulation, as you can tell, it's the same one that we've gotten with a prior release Robin. He's got double jointed knees, not much paint on this, unfortunately. He's got the toes, the boots, and one thing, which I'm kind of disappointed, McFarlane Toys. What's with the mismatched pins here? That's not really something you guys have done. Let's not make that a habit by any means. That's that's some Marvel Legends Spider-Man territory. All right, let's 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 detract from that as much as we can. Now, to show you how he scales, how he differentials from different Robins that we have gotten. As you can see, he's a repaint, of course. There has been a ton of variances of Robins, both good and evil, and all of them Damien, right, we will say, from the Witch King Robin, and then you have the newer costume Robin, which, of course, this Robin is based off of, and then you have the more classic-ish Damien with the Crow Robin. A lot of Robins, right? So you can see how they all stack up. Now, as I pull out of my collection, one of the prior released Batman Who Laughs as he's dressed up here this kind of goes with that whole Halloween spooky Batman and Robin in so many ways. So if you have that Batman, you might want him. But this is the true standout right here. If you have Necron and then you have all the other vampires thus released from Walmart, it's quite the collection, I will say. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. But look at Superman. And then you see Green Lantern covered in blood, blood dripping, giant fangs. Batman's all bloody, bloody hands. Joker's all bloody. Ignore the Flash. He's just some crazy zombie. But you see how Robin is, right? He's just kind of like, oh, yeah, he's there. There's, there's Vampire Robin. But to pivot back to Owlman, to see the two Owlmen stacked up against each other, you get to see different head portrait, different belts. Different colors, same type of cape. You get the idea. If you want, basically, a variance of Batman, right? Blue Batman, gray Batman. Take your pick. Both of them are solid owl men. And then to pair him up with the rest of the crime syndicates, that does look pretty cool. And I do have an Atomica. I just can't locate her. She's so teeny tiny, she fell somewhere. I will find her, though, and put her on my Instagram with a full team photo. And then they also had a, a variance of Johnny Quick that he goes nicely with this group. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at two brand new DC Multiverse Gold Label Walmart exclusives by McFarlane Toys. And again, thank you to my friends over at McFarlane for sending these out for the purposes of this video. These are largely sort of humdrum figures. If, again, you missed the first Owlman, if you need an Owlman, well, then, yeah, you got a blue Owlman to grab. But the DC vs. Vampires Robin was the one I was looking forward to because I'm enjoying that collection. But this one, again, is very lackluster. Very lackluster in the category of just being a vampire and them having fun with it. So these are two that I'll say they're not totally necessary, but you might find some value in them. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, heading into 2024, for all future store exclusives, if you're going to do these types of characters, really just make them cool. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 